There may be times when you want to create a screenshot on your iPad for multiple reasons. Maybe you want to show your students which apps to download when you're not sure how to describe the icon. Or maybe your students are working independently or in centers on a website and you want to make them show what they were working on. Or to be able to capture work from an app that doesn't export to the camera roll and the photos app. Or to save an image when the save image option isn't available or to record your customized settings to share with others, or to document a problem you're having to attach when you fill out a service desk ticket. You should be able to create a screenshot on your iPad by pushing the power button and the home button together. When you push the power button and the home button together, you'll notice your screen flash white as a screenshot is taken that shows exactly what's showing on your iPad screen. If you have your sound turned on, you may also hear the camera click sound every time you take a screenshot. With some cases though, when you push the power button and the home button together, what you expect to happen might not. Instead, you may get Siri or you may turn off the power. If you have this problem on your iPad, or you notice your students struggling to take a screenshot, you can create a screenshot button on your iPad. When you tap the screenshot button, it'll take a screenshot of your iPad screen. Any screenshots that you take on your iPad are sent to the camera roll and the photos app and you can tap on the photos app and look at all the screenshots there. Let's look at how to use the assistive touch features of your iPad's operating system to create a screenshot button on your iPad. Go ahead and tap on the settings app. Tap on general on the left side if it isn't already selected and then tap accessibility on the right side of your screen. Scroll down until you see Assistive Touch and tap on that. Tap on the toggle button at the top next to Assistive Touch so that it's green and turned on. You should now see a floating Assistive Touch button on your iPad screen. Tap on Customize Top Level Menu. This Assistive Touch button actually has six functions on your iPad. Let's go ahead and limit this to just the screenshot function. Tap on the minus button next to where it says six icons and continue to tap until you have only one icon left. Tap on that icon and then scroll down on the pop-up menu until you see screenshot and tap on that. Tap anywhere on your screen to close that pop-up menu and tap on the home button. Your floating assistive touch button is now a screenshot button. When you tap on it, your screen will flash white as it takes a screenshot of your screen. These screenshots will go to your camera roll in the Photos app. This floating assistive touch button also makes a great pointer when you're reflecting your iPad screen up for the class. You can move the assistive touch button around to point out what apps you want your students to tap on or where they should look on the screen. They'll be able to see this floating assistive touch button reflected up on the screen and follow along with your directions.